Still looks for them. Yep, in the way. Well, it seems like we should come at a bad time. What's everyone doing here? <clears throat> If I'm not mistaken, you must be Lemuel and Paimon. I'll come back to your question in a moment. I consulted the records from the last hundred years, and I didn't find any record of a caterpillar. In light of this possible mislaying of documents, we'll need your cooperation to recreate them. There's nothing pressing about the matter, if you ask me. What's the rush about? It's Jen. I often get the impression that you couldn't care less about restoring order to this place. I can't agree with your viewpoint. People who habitually indulge their every whim just can't see that too much freedom actually does them harm. I'll restore order to this chaos using my own methods. I'll advise you again not to stand in the way of my work. Chaos? Isn't that just another word for thinking on your feet? <sighs> you know what? Forget it. Is Caterpillar your real name? Additionally, I'll need you to state your crime in, some, in as much detail as possible. The time, the location, as well as the final sentence pronounced. The more details you provide, the greater the likelihood we'll have of retrieving your wretches. Your file was indeed lost, we can fill in a portion of your records based on your statement. I've been called Caterpillar for as long as I can remember. I think this name suits me best, and it's the closest thing I have to a real name. Real name? Cater Caterpillar. Confirm to be correct. Next, state your crime. I carried out a certain task under my master's orders. I failed, but some people suffered because of it nonetheless. This was my crap. Your master? I'll need their full name. Also, when did this occur? Unlike me, he has many names. This happened a long time ago. Are you messing with me? Everything I said is the truth. His voice sounds too low to be that of a child. I apologize. Were you looking for a more dramatic account? Or for some lurid details to ignite your imagination? As for what happened that day, I should recount it sparing no detail. From the furnishings of that clandestine hall, the thoughts of my companion, which I have ventured to speculate on. That's all just the fabrication of the mind made after the fact. We both know that it's not what you're really after. But these are nothing more than just stories masquerading as the truth. The real story has already turned to smoke along with that barren garden. Garden. Marianne's garden? What you want to know is the is a pure truth. The truth is that the culprit is where it should be. The, the other minutiae and tri tri trivialities uh, are of no significance to you. They are inconsequential and thus won't shake up your order in the slightest. Nothing here for you to trouble yourself with. Everything is that, is that it should be. The culprit is where he should be? There's nothing here for me to trouble myself with. Everything is as it should be. Compared to the temporarily missing file, Surely the misuse of the Rochelle loudspeaker is a more obvious problem. Apart from the unauthorized use, we'll ha also, we've also received a number of complaints recently of nervous breakdowns caused by its repeated use. You're right, Estienne. The guards have an even greater duty to put a stop to this sort of rule breaching. We should investigate the matter immediately. What are we waiting for, then? Get this show on the road. That's odd. Why did he flip at the drop of a hat? Hmm. 
There's something fishy about this. It has something to do with that stuff Caterpillar said. Alan just felt a little sleepy when she heard it. Light hypnosis? Let's just ha ask him directly. Sorry for the delay. About the way I said I brought the coupons over here. What did you do to him? Someone that aggressive aggressive doesn't seem like the type to take advice from anyone. Why would they give up so easily? Just a few a few small tricks. The culprit is where it should be. This is an undeniable fact. Making someone as straightforward as him certain of an undeniable fact is exactly hard. Like that time with Julia? That's right, just like that time with Julia. I've been here for a long time, as you know. After, after staying in one place for a long time, it's only natural to pick up a few handy tricks to exert some degree of influence over your environment. Mm, all is too handy, I'd say. Changing a stubborn, a stubborn person's mind with just a few simple phrases almost sounds like magic. Could there have been a few times when we were also influenced by magic without even knowing it? Yeah, considering how pure-hearted you are, Paimon, that is a worrying thought. You too? Wait a minute, you're not saying Paimon's as gullible as Junior, are you? It's not as simple as it looks. There are always limits to the opposition of tricks like this. And the results aren't always what you'd hope for. It's like with Julien. He always had a knack for art, but he lacked confidence because of his visual impairment. The certainty that he could draw well was inside him to begin with. In other cases, the concept of certainty is just too abstract, making it difficult to predict the outcome. So, I did take a chance this time. I just thought that if he held us up here, it would keep delaying the plan to get Lenoir up out of the fortress. Besides, I doubt you wanted to be questioned by him repeatedly either. Well, we've got, I guess we've got to take, take chances to achieve our goals. Yeah, absolutely right. Back to the matter at hand. If you change your mind and want to go back out, back out and understand completely. The one might be sad for a time though. For her blame, it's like you are hard to come by. Hmm. We already made a promise to her, so we can't just go back on our word now, right? This doesn't mean I trust you. But the promise is a promise. Of course, knowing that our rules are aligned for the time being is enough. Speaking of which, where sh is she? She went on an adventure earlier this morning. Probably to rehearse for what's to come after she leaves this place. But just as well, I have a few headaches to go take care of soon. You can usually get a reward for helping others. I mean, the gods take care of some headaches. Oh, we totally get that. Sounds just like some of the Adventures Guild commissions. Yep. I see. Would you two join me on this next commission then? Sure. Where are we going? The abandoned production zone in the lower levels. Obtain for the coupons. Hey, Rave. Did you need me for something? Nice weather you're having today, right? Indeed, we only got the, the, the occasional bit of rainfall each year. Yeah, probably be because of Newfoundland. Nothing, sorry to bother you. I have a nice day then. Hey, do you think there will still be any payoff in China now? This font has too strong. I quite full a few flavors though. I think the health drink that guy from Samara's working on has some promise. 
Maybe I should invest to a little woman. I may not be your friend, but I'd advise against that. <laughs> hey, Shindiev. Hmm. Sorry, I have some things I need to think about. Okay. Oh no, this place. No one comes here anymore after the good killed mine shaft was closed. And the devices here aren't meant for just anyone to handle. That's exactly what happened this time. Someone tinkered with the drive valve and trapped their own companion. Anyway, let's get it to open up the passage to supply warehouse one. By the way, if they offer you a drink, you best say no. Who's going to offer us a drink and why won't we talk but why won't we take it? You'll find out soon enough. Operate the drive valve to open access to supply warehouse one. For that, let me have a look. Okay. Alright, we can go in now, but before we do, let's make sure we've got the gear drive train. <laughs> got the gear drive train. This guy is sleeping on the job. I mean, there's no one to come comes here though, so I just um, don't have anything to worry about. Nice job. Go back. Wind Strider two. All right, Let's see. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them if you wish to hear. Them. You weren't trapped for too long. My savior, you're finally here. Where's Koblenz? He's not with you. He told me about trapping you here and asked for my help. But he left because a god because a god interrupted us. I knew he wasn't reliable. He probably went away, went away because he felt guilty. I mean, how do you make money in business if you don't take risks? was clumsy and too cautious to boot. I mean, 
Pure water is one thing, but even Fonta is available nowadays. If Fonta is here, how are we supposed to survive? Oh. What? You like Fonta too? Eh, it's just about right. Trust him with taste, I see. Anyway, I have to settle with th this with Cobblers. By the way, has he paid you? Nope. Sometimes I want to stuff him in a large budget. That'll make him reflect on what he's done. Anyway, please take these coupons. Take them, you two, if you would. What, you want us to take all of it? Of course. Thank you, then. We can go to the Ride and Boat Shop later to see if they have anything new. By the way, I'd like to apologize for dragging you into this. I have some fresh health drinks. Would you like a bottle? Fresh health drinks? Yup. Healthier than pure water, in fact. I'll take one. Hey, didn't Caterpill Caterpillar tell you not to take one? No, Lemon didn't admit. We already had a lot of drinks before coming here. Paimon bets these drinks are good. We might should try one this time. Bad timing, huh? Well, come back when you get a chance. It will be my treat. Anyway, I must go to got to talk to. Anyway, I must go talk to Koblenz now. I have something else to take care of, so I need to get going. I'll worry too much about the coupons. I'll put the clues I come across on the blackboard. Let's meet up later. See you later. We'll be commissions of the Fortress of Meripede. Scenes from life in Meripede, safe operation. 200. Brings a smile to my face. Right, I have enough, seems. Still no, Miss but Miss Paimon, we've fallen way behind. It's true. I've gone to ask Jess Tian about the transliteration and it seems to be the chase. Oh yeah, we're clearly behind right now. Let Paimon see. Ooh. Looks like you got some you got some coupons too, Trashapillar. Wait. Aren't we still dead last? Yep, we are. Even Duff is ahead of us. He entered the competition by himself, didn't he? How can this be happening? Because he helped the gods take care of no small number of nuisances. For example, Miss Montblanc not too often asks him for help. <laughs> Paimon sees. Wait a minute, does that mean he was so nice to us at the start because he could gain something from it? Also, won't we lose for sure if this keeps up? <sighs> if only Paimon hadn't eaten so much at the Red and Boat shop earlier. No matter. All that chance is told the number of coupons collected within the time limit. Then coupons you already have doesn't affect the total count. <laughs> that means you can eat even more, Miss Paimon. Anwar, our, our problem right now is not that we are about to lose the competition. Aren't you guys the least bit worried? There's still plenty of time left before the end. We'll make it. <laughs> We're going to take the lead straight from last place. <laughs> now I'm motivated. It does like your it does like your typical motivational story, sure. But can we really put it off? You have to believe in yourself more, pa Miss Paimon. The heroes of the story are all sure of themselves. That's why they're the main characters. Hmm. You're right, Lenoir. We're gonna win this thing. Tomorrow, we divide and conquer. Well, we convene here once we make some gains. Sound good? 
will make better time this way. Indeed, that sounds like a better plan. Also, if you don't mind, we can rest here. Just like before. Sure, you know, you can take a break now if you're tired. I was chatting with Miss Montland. She said that Natlin is nothing like Fontaine. Oh? Natlin lore? Let's go. She said that Natlin is nothing like Fontaine, yet she really wants to take a dip in a volcanic hot spring. A volcano? Is that a flaming mountain? And mountains are super tall mounds of rock and dirt, right? Hmm. You'll get to see all these things for yourself after you leave this place. Whether it's volcanoes or anything else. Now let's explore all these places together, Chatter. Hmm. Let's invite Mr. Little and Miss Pylon too. They'll definitely like that. <laughs> Alright. Should we rest now? Sick rest. Chatter, tell me more of the story about the little girl. Last time we left off with the little girl living in Giant's Garden. I bet she leaves the Giant's Garden. But how does she get out of, of here, of there? One day, the little girl heard the sound of a woman's voice coming from beyond the towering wall. Giant-hearted giant, I am in need of the little purple flowers from your garden. Would you please give me some? The giant refused, of course, and furiously bellowed uh, the woman on the other side of the garden wall to leave at once. The woman did not leave, and from a short distance away she lamented that she had journeyed from afar for the little purple flowers in the garden, which she needed to cure a sick, a sick friend's illness. During the woman's plight, the little girl felt sorry for her and her friend. A giant had so many flowers in his garden, surely having one or two less wouldn't hurt. Thus, the little girl approached the garden wall and whispered to the woman that if she was willing to bring the woman a few of the little purple flowers. Except, the little girl said the giant wouldn't let her leave, and the garden's walls were so tall that she wasn't sure how she would be able to get the flowers to her from inside. From the other side of the wall, the woman told the little girl that she was actually a witch that knew many magic spells. And if the little girl could bring her the flowers she did from the giant's garden, she would use her magic to help the little girl the, the, the little girl leave that garden. Did the little girl decide to help the witch? Hmm, I bet she did. Otherwise the witch wouldn't be able to cure her friend's illness, right? But the giant said she couldn't leave the garden. If she left, wouldn't she get punished somehow? It's getting late, so let's save that part of the story for the next time. <laughs> There's not here, though. We should go see if there are any commissions to war coupons, right? Yeah. Let's do this. Caterpillar probably went to get coupons elsewhere, but she left us some clues. The entrance to the Rift of Erosion. Maybe we'll even be able to get some coupons. It's like Caterpillar left us a few coupon breadcrumbs to follow. We'll take our chances. What is it? Is there anything we can help with? It would be better if there's comp compensation. You didn't join this team's game, did you? You should know when to stop. Unless there's something I need your help with. Our client should be repairing this device or whatever it is by the rift of erosion. Go help him out, would you? Just ask him for compensation. He won't object. We'll take care of it. 
Where's my lips? Ah. Ah, okay. Time to go. The rifts of erosion. Two again? Please. Just behave if you want to get out soon. Oh, so we can't go there. Okay. Fair enough. Go up. Just trying to get everything here in order. Okay, clients. Talk to me, walk me. Just in time. Come help me out. Uh, it's Henry Nines. That's Cherry. Driver sent us to help you? And how did you know that? Because you're the only ones here to help. Well, that makes sense. Anyway, the task is nothing difficult. The research terminal here requires people to operate it simulta simultaneously. And I've already entered the commands. Just walk over, the over and pull the lever. I oh, I almost forgot. The charging devices should be nearby. Please install the charging device first before starting. And just to double check, you're not machine chillers, are you? Uh, it depends on how you define machine chillers. What do you ask? I asked Giovanna to for help last time, and even though I only looked away for a moment, when I looked back, the terminal was already destroyed. I asked her what happened, but she didn't, she didn't tell me. I found out from her sister later that no machine could survive under her for more than half a day. Even Alain Diota would have given up on her, I suspect. Alain Diota. His name keeps reappearing. Even the repair fee was deducted from my conversation. If you're just like her, then all my hard work would be in vain. Her uh, story. We're definitely not like her, don't worry. Charlie on you then. Okay, so this has just been locked. So let's take this. Time to go. Let's go over there. Him. Ouch. But you did. If we weren't in a place like this, I would have hired you as my assistants. This is too easy. By the way, what does this device do? There was a rift there connected to the outside, and it had to be watched. Now we can just seal the passage with this device and save manpower. This is nothing new to the Fountain Research Institute, anyway. But since I have plenty of time, I modified it a little. What you're seeing now isn't even its final form, which was actually deployed at the Geode Mineshaft. <clears throat> I think I spoke too much. Just pretend you didn't hear anything. So, there are exits in the Geode Mineshaft? Right, you're a smart one. But if you were smarter, you would have kept that to yourself and not blurted it out. Anyway, problem solved. Java no longer needs to come down too often, I can take a break. Ah oh yes, I almost forgot. Forget about your conversation. Thanks for the help. Scenes from life in repeat. Dead end. Alright. Well, that was easy. Oh, great. Having fun, having fun playing house with the kids. It is pretty fun to be honest. 
Looks like this chair really should hold a children's version. Did you need us for something? We're rivals, you know. Are you really trying to see if we're having a good time? I have many qualities, and one that has benefited me greatly is my curiosity. I always want to get to the bottom of things I don't understand. So I tend to know the facts better than others. Other coincidence, me too. <clears throat> it's like we'll enjoy talking to each other then. Just wanted to know why you decided to take part in this game. It was for the chance to get out. I have another route that I can show you. I like playing games more, like winning even more. <clears throat> Remaining vigilant around your enemies is wise. But I'm not necessarily your enemy. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, if you only want to win, then why don't we work together? Huh? But aren't you already in the, fir in the first place? That's precisely why we both stand to benefit. Hmm, wait a minute. We joined to help Lenoir out. That little girl. In that case, if you're willing to join up with me, I'll grant any wish she has as well. Sounds too, too good to be true, though. And I'll be French. This is a matter of honor. Caterpillar and I have some unresolved history. I don't know what he said to pull one over on you, but I'm telling you, he is a monster. A monster in human skin. What are you all talking about? Not some sort of rule breaking scheme, I trust. Tch. Ah, Mr. Noir, your timing couldn't be better. Could I ask you about the results of the investigation into Caterpillar? The majority of his records are missing, but it's fine. The culprit is where it should be, and everything is as it should be. His records are missing? That's impossible. He definitely had a hand in this. The missing records needs to be need to be recreated. Right. How could I have forgotten about that? Hmm. Right. Go finish your task now. I don't want to see you loitering around here. <coughs> Get back to the usual place. Mr. Lu, Miss Paimon, welcome back. We brought quite a haul back today. Brought quite a haul back today. Our current standing should be... Dang it, we only just pulled ahead of Darcy. That's great! We're not in the last place anymore. But there are four of us. Yeah, we're doing great! Such positivity. But are we really going, going to be okay like this? I still have two big hurdles ahead of us. You promised me we'd win for sure, right, Connor? That's right, so don't worry too much, you two. I know that may sound strange, but sometimes forgetting about the outcome and enjoying the fun to be had in the process isn't the bad way, the bad way to go. Okay, if you say so. Oh, speaking about of that, Caterpillar, we received an invitation from the guy who was in the first place earlier, but he was super rude and said that uh, you're, um, um, anyway. It wasn't really nice of him. <coughs> what happened between you two? Just a few minor differences of opinion. He invited me to join him as well, but having no real reason to accept I declined his offer. Later, he tried to get some of his lackeys to teach me a lesson. It's true, I am a monster. The kind people like him would do well not to provoke. Don't say that. Surely you didn't end up this way because you wanted to, right, Chatterbiller? <coughs> if Chatter is a monster, and he's one of the good ones, 
It's like how they are good sorcerers and bad sorcerers. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you sleepy a little more? Mm hmm. But I haven't heard the rest of yesterday's story yet. If you're tired, you should go for an early night. Mr. P Mr. Limul? Miss Paimon? Will we still meet again tomorrow? Why are you asking that all of a sudden? If, if you don't want to be on the same team as us anymore. What are you talking about? Didn't we say we'd get first place together? There are still two more teams ahead of us, so we have to meet tomorrow count. Yeah, you're right. I'm so sleepy. Let's do our best tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Mr. Lemul. Sweet dreams, Miss Paimon. I'm so sleepy. In that case, go get some rest. Okay. But I haven't heard the rest of the story yet. How is after I hit the ending? <coughs> Should we rest now? Let's rest. Where we le last left off, the witch told the little girl that she would use her magic to help her leave the giant's garden if the little girl brought her the light little purple flowers she needed. I'm really sleepy, but I want to know what happens next. What did the little girl do? Does the witch cure her friend in the end? Although the giant had warned the little girl of the many dangers of the world beyond the garden wall, the little girl had never seen what the outside world looked like, was like, so she didn't know what danger even was. She told the voice on the other side of the wall that she would help bring her some of the little purple flowers. So many identical flowers were growing in the garden and she looked as beautiful as the next. She didn't know why the giant treasured each and every one of them so. The little girl heard laughter from the other side of the wall. Later, with a bouquet of flowers in her hands, the little girl rode a gust of wind over the wall to the world outside. <clears throat> the tall witch took the little purple flowers from the little girl's hands. The little girl, thinking she had done a good deed, was very pleased with herself. But when she tried to return to the garden, she discovered that the wall, the garden, and the giant were no longer there. Good witch, I'd like to return to the giant's garden now. Could you please use the magic to take me back? The little girl asked. But what can you give me in exchange now? The witch replied. Huh? The little girl couldn't go back. I'm glad the witch could save her friend, but I don't like this story. Everyone has stories that they don't like. Then I'll tell you a story next time, Chatter. I have to sleep now. Morning, we get a bunch more coupons. Five hundred now. Let's go look for commissions nearby. <clears throat> Caterpillar we'll probably went to get coupons elsewhere, but it left us some clues. The dormitory block mail room. The rat and bone shop. The north side of the production zone's lower levels. We'll take our chances. So, lads and ladies, um, that is where we will uh, try uh, for the stream slash video on YouTube. Um, we will uh, come back for the next phase, next part of uh, the unfinished comedy uh, in a later video or in, in another stream as well. Uh, if you liked what you saw, in the video please make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't done so already and also uh, leave a comment down leave a comment down below to give your thoughts um, advice or even recommendations and I'll be sure to check them out later also please make sure to uh, comment follow me at twitch.tv forward slash forever where I do all my streams in timely fashion and uh, also consider uh, checking my patreon and becoming a, a member if um, this uh, well 
interests you in the slightest. But that's all for me, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys!